Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be setting up our React.js project. React.js will be our frontend and later, actually in a few more lectures, we'll be setting up our smart contract and we'll be coding in a move language, which is the most important part of this course, to code in the move language, create smart contracts and connect and make transactions to a SUI blockchain. But first we'll need to initialize React.js. Uh, Let's begin. Okay, go to your terminals. And in your terminals, let's initialize React.js project. And first, let's initialize the folder for our projects. Here I am in my home folder. So in the home folder, I want to create SUI folder. By the way, you can do all of this in your file explorers, but I prefer terminal. So on the Macs, go to terminals. And on Windows, go to PowerShells. Okay, PowerShell. Okay, here in my base folder, I will create a folder for my SUI project. I will write here mkdir to make directory space and the name of the directory will be SUI. I'll press enter, this should create for you SUI folder. I already have SUI folder, so it doesn't didn't create for me. So now I want to navigate into this folder. So CD so to change directory space and SUI folder. And now I will navigate to SUI folder. You can call your folder whatever you want. And now in the SUI folder, I will initialize the folder for my application. I'll write here mk uh, dir and I will call this voting dash app because we'll be creating voting applications. We'll be able to create proposal proposals and to vote on uh, them. That's a very good example application to explain uh, SUI and uh, move uh, concepts. You don't need to know much about this application yet. I will be explaining it a lot in the next videos. Okay, so voting application mkdir, let's press enter. This will create a folder. So I will go now to CD and voting, voting app. Now I am in my voting application. Okay, when you want to initialize React.js projects, you should have installed npm. Uh, I suppose you already have npm. That's the normal thing to have on your computer. So if you write here npm, you should see this, at least some something displayed. If you don't see it, then you need to install npm. And you can install npm. Just go to your browsers, search here for npm uh, install and this should link you to the website where you can install npm and I will go to actually you, will, you want to install node.js okay so that's the most important part of your install installs because the npm uh, which is a node package manager comes with uh, node.js so first search for uh, node.js download and here you can download depending on your system you see here, here is the installation for mac os or you can just simply choose your installation here. You can see there is a, you can change it for Windows and you choose here our arch architecture. So 64 or 86, depending on your arch architecture, you can download the installer and it's a normal installer file uh, where you just follow the steps. Okay, so just open the, you will open the file and follow the steps and this will install it for, uh, for you. Okay, so here you have a Windows installer, MSI, you're going for this on Windows and Mac OS, you can download the package file. And again, just open it and follow the steps that is displayed on the screen. Okay, once you're ready and you have NPM installed, then in a terminal, you should be able to write NPM and you should see uh, these commands listed on the screen. Now, for the package manager, we'll be using actually PNPM. Okay, to install PNPM, you can do it like this. NPM, now when you have NPM, install PNPM dash G and this will install PNPM on your computers uh, globally. Okay, you can also search different installation options if you want, PNPM install. And again, this will install, this will link you all of available options on Windows, what you can do and so on and so on. Um, and in the end, you can also see this. So NPM install dash G PNPM. That's what we'll be writing now in our computers and the terminals. Okay, so Go ahead, go to terminal, npm, uh, install pnpm g, press enter, I already have it, so yeah. I will press, uh, press enter, install it, and wait. And when you will be ready, you should be able to do pnpm-v, or just a pnpm, and you should see your pnpm version. Okay, so we have npm, pnpm, we'll be using pnpm as, as our package manager, and now we can finally initialize uh, React.js uh, project. So here, in your voting application, let's write here, P N P M. All right. Let's write it. Let's, this will be quite a long command. Let's write your in code dash up dash templates. Let's write here dash dash template. And the template will be uh, react dash quick. 
start. All right, and then now we will choose the name of your application. Actually, the name of our application will be just a front end. Okay, that will be the folder in which the application will be initialized. So use this command pnpm pnpm encode dash app dash templates dash dash template react quick start front end, and this will initialize in the floating application front end folder with the React.js application. I'll just press enter. Uh, uh, pnpm ah, I forgot one important thing. So. If you want to get return to the previous command, just press up arrow or just write again, and you should write here pnpm uh, create. Okay, so pnpm create encode up template, there's just template, react quick start and uh, front end like this. Press enter, uh, react quick start. I made a lot of typos here, so it should be react quick start front end. And now let's press enter, and now it should be initialized for you. So I have prepared this template for you. You can just initialize it very simply like this with this command and now you should have here, uh, when you write here ls, you see the front end folder, and the front end folder you should have your application. Now we'll open our coding editors uh, to verify uh, all this folder structure and everything. So I would highly suggest you to use throughout this course Visual Studio Code. It has very good extensions, also for Move Language, which we'll be using. So if you don't have Visual Studio Code, you should get it, and you can get it Visual Studio Code um, download. And you are going here and you can just follow the steps here and yeah just choose your system download it install it and you are set okay now you can open the visual studio code so just search for visual studio code you just installed open it uh, full screen and click here open and we will search here for our folder so here you can see sui uh, voting application open it and here we should have uh, front end, and yeah, so that's that's our structure. You can see we are in a voting application. That's the folder we have created. Oops, uh, folder we have created, and here we have a front end which we created, and in a front end folder we have the React.js application. That's perfect. By the way, there are multiple ways how to initialize the React.js application. You can initialize it by yourself manually, or also you can go to GitHub. The link is in the description of this video. There is also a link to the zip file. You can download it as a zip file and just open it, unpack it, and or just simply clone it from here, from my GitHub repository. Here is a React Simple template. You can get it as this, or just use it command with a pnpm as we, uh, as we did. Okay, so here's our application. Just nothing more, just a simple React application, very basic template. Um, you can see a lot of errors because we need to install packages. So let's do it uh, immediately. Go to the terminals. And here in a voting application, let's write here, uh, P oh, actually go first to the front end. Okay, we'll clean up. You can clean up your screen with a command control or command K on your keyboard. And here go to the front end, see the front end. And here let's run pnpm install to install all of the required packages. It should uh, be very fast because there are not many uh, packages. It's just a boilerplate application. And when this will be ready, you should be able to you write command pnpm dev to start the development server that will be running on your local host. So just let's wait until uh, this will be resolved. Okay, and here when it will install, let's write here pnpm dev. And now on local host, you will see uh, we can copy this and we can go to our browsers and this is your basic React application, okay? So you can switch the light mode, dark mode. You can see it's very, very empty, just a simple boiler boilerplate for application. What's important here is that we are, I have set up the Tailwind for you, so you don't need to do it. So we are already using the Tailwind for, uh, framework for CSS. So we can use all these styles. You can see here, uh, item center, justify centers, and this is providing the styles from, uh, from Tailwind. So, uh, and we have this basic structure of application. We have up to TSX, main to TSX, and a couple of providers for theme, um, actually just one provider for a theme. So we can choose between the light theme and the dark theme. And that's the basic React.js application. But I will be not explaining the React.js in the details here because you should already have uh, have this knowledge about the React.js. Okay, so yeah, we have uh, at least some part of set, set up, we have our front end, which is uh, for us uh, now important because uh, at this way we can preview the things on the screen. Okay, uh, we have initialized, okay, we have initialized Node.js. We have now P npm, pnpm, we have installed and initialized our project. 
And in the next video, we can focus on uh, SUI. So we'll be still installing because to prepare the environment, we need to still install a couple of uh, things and then we are ready in the development. Okay, so a little bit longer lecture, but all of these initialization steps needs, they have to be done. And uh, with the next, in the next video, we'll be working on SUI. So see you there. Cheers.